Monday, 222, I put on my tights, my socks, and my bunny shoes, but I'm still wet on the top part because I don't want to do the blow dryer. Um, I've been sitting on the floor looking at my, at my tights and my bunny shoes. I don't want to have to get blow dried, though. I just want to already be there at the store. I'm taking, I, I guess that's what you mean in your blog here. Mm -hmm. um, bunny, uh, bunny shoes. Do you have your bunny no, shoes? Okay. Good. All right. Oh, like Bugs Bunny. Yeah. That's very, uh, that's very clever. They're very shiny. I like them, but thank you. They're very, they're pretty awesome. I, Are they comfortable? I, Are they comfortable as well as uh, eye catching? They are. Okay. Mm. This is who made them. It wasn't me. What does that say? Mini, mini paprika? I completely mangled that. Yeah, I don't know how to say it. Mina, mina paprika? Why do I, I want to say paprika? Uh huh. Bunny shoes. Well, that's a lot easier to say than than what I mangled. So to the so to that brand, I'm sorry. Um, that I completely. I'm sorry for. I'm sorry too. That I, that gonna, I completely. I'm still listening. I'm just gonna put my shoes. Sandaled. Down. Put your put your bunny shoes down. Um, the next entry on yesterday's blog from Panda. This is this is this is for those who are just tuning in. This is Panda's blog uh, started yesterday, and we're going to be publishing this on Magazine. Um, and, and, uh, uh, uh meganjenkins.com, megan-jenkins.com. And this will be, pa you know, Panda's Corner, I, I called it, um, which already has an entry, a poem by, a poem by Panda called The Pick of Paganini, which oh, got you some, like that too? I liked that very much. It was, that was a, a, amazing, especially in how it was dashed off really quick. Uh, but it, but it's a really oh, together. God. It's a really structured poem. I don't poem. have a pick of Paganini by my bed at all, Mark. No, well, you did it. Well, that's the up. that's the well, that's the amazing thing. Also, it was a work of fiction. Um, you know, you just dashed it off w in response to a picture that I sent you guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The next entry in yesterday's blog uh, by by Panda, who I'm talking with right now. I'm turning this into a radio show, even though there are cameras. Um, Two thirty nine Monday. I am dry now and I have a bow on and I look good, except I don't have a top. It's right next to me, but I don't want to put it on yet. I've been walking around the bathroom, repeating things the neighbors are saying. I can hear them because the windows are open and they talk loud. Megan just told me to stop and said, Panda, put your shirt on and let's go before it gets busy. I will be back. XOXO love Panda. Your neighbors are loud, huh? Yeah. Are they, um, Unpleasantly loud, or just inter or interestingly loud. Interesting loud. Uh, that's that's a positive thing because unpleasant yeah. loud is when they're fighting with each other, and that's no one likes listening to other people's fights. Well, I, I don't. Haven't, I haven't heard that. Mm -hmm. It's just like normal conversations on the phone, which I find more interesting than like people yelling at each other and family mm -hmm. fights. I like just hearing normal conversations and what people mm -hmm. say and how they talk on the phone to each other do you like hot dogs stuff like that no no not stuff like that <laughs> do you no i wasn't asking if you like hot dogs i was just trying to imitate things like that you might oh. be hearing your neighbors talk about oh yes or, no or exactly. how many hot dogs do you want tonight yes yes exactly that's exactly um, like what the next entry in the blog is 4 31 p.m monday so uh, two hours later almost it's raining that's right los angeles huntington beach where you guys are um had quite the downpour um on monday afternoon it's raining i had a great time at the grocery store and when megan and i walked outside it was all wet my butt got wet on the ride home but i didn't mind at all this has been a great day i found a panda bracelet at the store and i got to get that and the bakery smelled so good. I just stood over there for a little bit and smelled and smelled, sniffed and smelled things. That's the panda bracelet. That's pretty. Pit Megan sent me, a, emailed me a photograph of, of that also. The panda bracelet. Yeah, I have it on right now too. Yes. Hold it steady. Okay. 
Um, then I almost got cheese, but then Megan saw me and I had to put it back. Uh, there were all kinds of nice people in the store and we got food and feet masks we are going to do. Uh, the rain knocked out the cable, so now there is no Instagram, no Facebook, and no cable today. I don't know when the other stuff stopped working, but I can't send memes, and it's frustrating. I'm not that frustrated, though, because I have a lot of fun things to do, and I have a, to do a workout anyway. There's no time for memes. I love this new bracelet. I wasn't allowed to eat any of the hot food because I have some dietary restrictions, but I got to get gummy vitamins, and they are cute, too. Those uh, Megan sent me a photograph of those, too. Um, but the... Uh, yeah, the rain, it was raining here in New York also yesterday. Yeah, different storm because we're cross country. Um, but uh, yeah, I saw from a lot of people in Los Angeles who I, who I follow on the social media, you guys were all amazed at the how strong the storm was. I, I saw lots yeah, of people. Yeah, we got very scary. Uh, you know, was, that, was it a thunderstorm? Did you have thunder and lightning? There was thunder, there was a lot of lightning, there was, there was talk about not being able to be on the telephone because the lightning would come through and kill you. Knock that out. Uh, Facebook and Instagram were knocked out globally, so that was a coincidence also. Um, mm -hmm. You know, no one could be on, on, on either Facebook or Instagram, so everyone went on Twitter. And what I did was I posted on Twitter a reminder to people to watch uh, the Mark Aldrich and Panda show, especially the episode in which you gave me advice on how to handle my problems with my Wi-Fi here. If you remember, you gave me a solution. So I, yeah. I, I told people to go go watch that episode and yeah. learn from Panda. And it worked, didn't it? I turned Facebook and Instagram back on or the Facebook and Instagram came back on about uh, several hours later. Sure maybe, did. Maybe about an hour later. Yeah. See, Mark, you, thank you. And you're smart and you know how to fix things because if you hadn't posted that, we probably wouldn't be talking right you now. You might not still be uh, talking. Might not, might still be in the dark. Uh, 4.37 p.m. Monday. The TV is working again. I like watching the public access channel. It's like when you go to a hotel and they tell you all about the hotel on that one channel, except it's about the city you're in. Hang on, I think it's hailing. I like that channel, too, for some reason, even though I'm in the city that they're talking about at that moment. You know, I've been in Boston watching a TV channel about Boston when I can just step outside the front door of the hotel and be in Boston. There's something sure compelling about a TV screen. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it is because it's like, you know, sometimes when you're in a new place and you're scared and you don't know where do I go? What yes. Go going on here and then you watch that channel and then you know and sometimes you run into the people that you've seen on the channel like you'll see <laughs> the mayor at the grocery store or sure. like you'll see you'll see somebody that they interviewed on the street working at mm -hmm. the recycle center when i go to the recycle center that guy was on tv it was oh. amazing i um when I lived in a small city in the Midwest, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, even though it's 150,000 people, it had its own it had its own affiliate network channels, network stations, ABC, NBC, CBS, and you would see the local weatherman in the grocery store. You would see the local anchor man and anchor people in the grocery store just shopping with their kids. Um, Doesn't it make you feel so rich when there's it, people? It makes around? you feel like you're a part of a. Yes, it does. Yeah. There's there's something about that it was it was not such a big city though that it didn't like literally one of the first news articles that i saw on one of the the 5 30 p.m you know the evening news uh local news when i moved there was um literally was reporting that there was a kitten in a tree and that there was the fire department had shown up and by the end of the half hour by the time it was getting to be six o'clock the kitten had been taken down from the tree and they were able to report that that was, I thought, I have I have moved to not only to a different city and a different time zone, but I have moved to a different decade. 440. Was that, part of my blog? that was what I felt. What's that? Oh, I thought you were reading my blog, so I got. No, I was reading, I was telling my own personal story. No, okay. I was contributing. No, it's a good story. The next part was because you ended with this cliffhanger. Hang on, I think it's hailing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot. 4.40 p.m. Monday. It's not hail. It's just loud rain. 
Yeah, it wasn't. That's okay. I'm laying down now instead of exercising, but I'm having a good time reminiscing on my time at the grocery store and looking at my new bracelet. I just got a DM alert. Instagram is working again. It's Mark. I bet he's going to be happy I started a blog. I wonder if he has tried the feet masks. I'm going to ask him. Megan just brought the feet masks out. We are putting them on now, and I'm going to watch a movie, I think. What are the feet masks? Oh, I'll send you a you're picture. Going to, you're, you, 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 you're going to ask if I have tried the feet masks. Yeah, have you? I don't know what they are, so I don't think I have. They're, they're in a bag, and then you cut the part off that says to cut off, and then you put foot, foot, and then you have to sit in them for like 60 minutes, 90 minutes, and then in four days or something, my feet are going to start peeling off all of the skin, and I have a little bit of anxiety because I don't, mm. my feet are already stuck, and so I don't know if I'm gonna, if all the skin's gonna come off and then it's gonna, I don't know, but it's okay. I think you're safe and, and they wouldn't sell a, a, an unsafe product that would do anything dangerous like that. No, I have no, not tried anything like that before with my okay. feet. Um, my, my feet are, uh, you want me to are not you? soft. Send me feet masks yeah. to, to soften my feet skin. Yeah, and then you can, we can peel I I wonder if that would uh, if if that would be a, a I'm, sh I'm sure that would be a good thing for me. I don't know if it's a good thing for me, but we're gonna find out. That would be that would be a good uh, that would be a good thing. It's it you know, my feet are a challenge. 